10, your leader for local news, weather, and sports is coming up right now. Good evening, everyone. It's a party scene you may not associate with the Fargo-Moorhead area. They're called rave parties, and they're quickly becoming a problem for local law enforcement. Lisa Kroll has our story tonight. Techno music pounds until dawn. Inside a warehouse, New York City DJs make thousands in cash off young people gathering for a nine-hour dance party. Guys uh, with uh, colored wigs wearing dresses is probably the most extreme that I've seen there. Undercover officer Dale Stoll says there have been about a dozen raves in the FM area in the last year. A few weeks ago, Officer Stoll busted a rave at the Speedway Event Center in West Fargo. More than 200 young adults were attracted by flyers like these. Stoll describes the rave as kind of an underground secret. Rave parties are advertised by a handful of big city DJs, and they're often a free-for-all for drugs. One pill gaining popularity is called ecstasy. Normally, you're going to find ecstasy see in a small tablet form or in a powder form and uh, it can be easily diluted in uh, fruit juices normally it's going to be ingested um, through the mouth it's the whole attitude is anything anything goes George Jacobs is a licensed addiction counselor in Fargo. She says lots of kids she works with talk openly about doing drugs at rave parties in town. The most common is marijuana, but kids are experimenting at raves with ecstasy, acid, and mushrooms. They really like the loud music and its fast-paced music, as well as the trails that they're seeing from their psychedelic drugs. Ecstasy costs around $20 a pill and provides a short-term high, but it causes long-term depression, sleep disorder, and brain damage. We want kids to have fun and to be able to go to dances, but we don't want uh, a, a drug atmosphere type of dance starting to crop up in our community. Lisa Kroll, WDAY News. A Fargo doctor is expected to admit in his trial to growing marijuana in his home and a smoking pot. But 38-year-old Craig Springer won't admit he sold the drug to others. His attorney, Bruce Quick, says he'll ask the jury to find Springer guilty of marijuana possession. But he says the more serious charge of manufacturing marijuana is not justified, and he'll ask the jury to drop it. Drug agents seized 82 marijuana plants from Springer's basement last year. Quick says the doctor entered drug treatment shortly after his arrest. Tonight, Otter, Ottertail County authorities call it alarming. A recent sting operation found nearly 70% of bars, off-sale, and restaurants served alcohol to underage drinkers. It was the first compliance check of its kind in at least 25 years. Many of the establishments that failed the check are municipally owned. Authorities say this is only the beginning of an effort in the county to crack down on underage drinking. We want to educate these uh, establishments, employees, but we also want to send them the message that we're going to, it's going to be zero tolerance from now on. Efforts to control underage drinking in Ottertail County are being paid through a three-year, $360,000 federal state grant.